Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks. Welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. Discovered something while I was fooling around in between recordings. Apparently there's more of these. That's why I think I was getting so confused that where to go next. Uh, there's probably four of these, or three at least. Let's just... Aluminum foil with stripes on it. I just put this in the desk drawer. And then, uh, I think we've got more, right? Yes. That looks like writing. Aluminum foil with stripes and slanted lines on it. So then, um, let's do it one more time. Aluminum foil with stripes on it. Got it. Is there any more? Oh, that's it. I was wondering why we still had those. That totally makes sense now. Okay. That one's covered. Do the other rooms. Which one is this gonna be? Actually not sure. Maybe this one, because it's got what looks more like a writing. Alright, the aluminum foil's in place. Just gotta shut this. Locker. Pattern on the wall is reflecting off the aluminum. The two patterns are overlaid on one another. <laughs> It looks like it says locker. Huh? I mean, something more? Am I missing? Nothing here. Okay. Didn't I have to open the locker in order to get the foil to? Do this? What am I missing here? Okay, well, whatever. Let's check the other two. I'm so confused. Maybe it spells something out. Locker. With the other two words. Try this. Four nine eight five. Okay. Much better. Clearly, the four nine eight five is not gonna work here directly. Four nine eight five. That's room two, I believe. This is like. I can't even like just to add things together. I can't use multiplication. Like if I multiply the horizontal by the vertical, I can't get four, but we could do addition. Let's try that. So four, right? One plus three. Nine would be six plus three. And then eight. 2 plus 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. <laughs> yeah, nice. Ah! Piece of cake. Wow, good job. That was pretty impressive. I, you know, I have my moments. It's like, everyone that's watching is like, that was so easy. How could you not have figured that out before? There's something in there. A cassette tape. Well, cassette tape. Okay, well, we know where that goes. Get one locker down. I'm assuming we're gonna get a coin in the other one. So we can scratch that poster.
I guess the other one was just like, to, it was like acting as a clue. They, these are the locker accommodations. Three, four, seven, two. I'm digging the puzzles, I'm digging the puzzles. These, they need some brain power, but not, not, it's not totally overtaxing me. Three, four, seven, two. No, uh, retry. Can't retry, we're back. Spoke too soon. Three. Four. Seven. Two. Did it. Nailed it. Oh, good job. You opened it. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty great. Pretty fantastic. Looks like there's something in there. Is that like a... Like a wallet or a book or... Yes! Check it out! A wallet! You probably shouldn't get your hopes up. Why not? Just a feeling. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna let you bring me down. Let's see what's in here. A coin, right? What the hell? What is it? There's only one coin in here. And it's not even real money. Just a toy coin. What, 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 what were we gonna do with real money anyways? <laughs> like, see, didn't I tell you? Damn. Strange coin. Relief of all of okay. I guess it's not that strange. Okay, so then poster. I see, I see a yellow moon there. So maybe it'll be one of the codes. All right, you silvery bastard! Time to meet your doom. Let's do this. Yeah! Damn, you're excited. I was gonna say, that's a bit too excited. Hey, don't misunderstand me. I'm just really anxious to find a clue in there. Aren't you? You wanna let me do it then? I, I, I'm sorry. Please, just, just let me have this. Then get on with it. Search for hints on the poster. Hold the A button and move the cursor across areas of interest to scratch them. Select the green triangle on the left to move your view up and down. Let's get started. Okay. Oh, these are all different parts that I can scratch. It's not just the silver. Um, left knee. Okay, um, got so many notes. I'm not just, I'm just not, shh, should I just scratch all of them? Oh, I see, I can't. You know what, this is gonna be a lot easier with the mouse. So we've got yellow eight. Oh, triangle nine. Okay, this is not really what I expected. I'm trying to think of how this like matches up. Um, the left forearm, right? Here. Is it nice again? Okay, so that was circular one. These are matching up with the 
symbols we saw before. So I'm going to add that to the other one. So we've got a uh, circular one. Nine is the triangle. Eight's the diamond. And then I think it's this part that I need to scratch. That's the last one. Oh. Okay. Six is the star. <laughs> of course. I'm not going to make that sound. <laughs> Damn. I look away for a second and you scratched it all off. Yeah. I noticed some things that might be clues, so I, I kept going. You mean these marks on our arms and legs? Y yeah. There are four of them. A star, a circle, a diamond, and a triangle. Hey, 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 what are you doing? You've already scratched it all off. No, I'm not done yet. This blue part still needs to go. Oh god, of course. Sigma. I don't think that part's gonna come off, no matter how hard you scrape. Jeez, Sigma. One track mind. All right. They definitely correspond to the symbols we saw before. What does it mean? We've got the tape, so let's use the tape. Room three, right? Putting the cassette in now. All you have to do is close the lid. But then I call from the other room, I assume. From room one. Which was, um, 592. And I wonder if we're going to hear a message. Ba ba da ba ba. Congratulations! That voice. Oh, looks like you found the answer. The number you just entered is the number for the phone in the third room. I don't know if I'm doing the voice. I haven't heard it in a bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna continue. I can't. I can't. I can't do it justice. The button's hair on the top of the phone are just shortcuts. That means all the other phones have actual numbers too. Okay. Though I guess that's not really important. Anyway, you're calling room three right now. Room three. Then that means that you're so clever, I'm sure you figured it out by now. But yes, you're right. I'm speaking to you from a pre-recorded tape. So you can grasp me all the questions you like, but I won't be able to answer them. I'm afraid this little talk is going to be a bit one-sided. And again, it's going to be a very little talk because I only have one thing to tell you. Have a look at the left screen above the phone. The answer you're looking for is hidden there. What answer, you ask? Well, I can't hop you with that one. Bye! Have a nice trace! Left. Right, 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 right. I was thinking... I was wondering how these were going to come into play. Oh, there we are. Let's just, you know, let's go ahead and start a new note. Why not? <laughs> oh, God. Because I, I don't need a lot of these anymore. Oh, there we are. All right, there's another four digit number. What am I supposed to do with this? 2652.
I guess I need to enter it somewhere. So. Let's see if these do anything. Oh, it opened! There's some kind of pin in there. Let's see. Metal pin. I already got that pin thing, so I can close the lid, right? Okay. Is that to open this locker? Keyhole on top of the panel. I think a pin or something might fit in here. Oh, yeah. Huh? What, what was that noise? Maybe I can type stuff in now. So, is it also 2652? Let's try. 2. Can I make 6? 6. 5. 2. Hmm. I didn't see the other number. But there was one in the reflection. Damn it. I don't know. Um, let me try dialing it again. 2592. can't see it. Shoot. She mentioned that the other rooms also have numbers. Well, we got 1689. I guess I should try that. One. I didn't catch the number that was reflected there. Shoot. Let me try this again. Maybe I made a mistake. Two. Six. Five. Shoot. How could I get that back? Or am I missing it? Is it another number? Maybe it's the one six eight nine? One. Six. Eight. No. So many numbers. Right? This is the hint here for this locker. And it was 1689 on the poster. I wonder if I do I have the poster in my uh, archive. Um, 
Let me just double check that now. I feel like I'm missing something so obvious. Copy it down, right? One's the circle. Six is the star. Eight is the diamond. Nine is the triangle. <sighs> I think these four shapes mean star has a six, circle has a one, eight, triangle's a nine. You know what this is? Star circle diamond triangle. Maybe I just have it in the wrong order. She's saying star circle diamond triangle. I thought I copied it down, right? Have you seen these anywhere before? It's gotta be that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be that. Circle, star, diamond, triangle. They screw this up. One, six, eight, nine. Um, well, let's try the order that she gave us. That would be six. Three plus three is six. The star. And then it was one. The circle. Diamond was eight. Six was two. Triangle is nine. Three plus six. I tried it in the I tried it on the phone too. the numbers from the other room. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. I don't know where... I'm gonna have to look over stuff again. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up this episode here, although it's a bit short. Um, I need to just... I'm gonna have to spend some time thinking about it because I'm clearly missing something. And I might have to go back and look at the video to see what I missed there. It might be the number here or some other number. Or I have written something down wrong. It has happened in the past. Sorry to wrap it up early. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. And I love you all. I'm going to escape.